Hello and welcome to the Super Casuals. My name is Orinado, and this is the closed beta for World of Warcraft Battle 4 Azeroth. Here we are standing next to Nathanos Blightcaller. He summoned us over with a quest once we ding to level 120, the max level for this expansion. Let's dive right in and have some fun while we find out exactly what Nathanos Angry Pants really wants. What is it? Are you prepared for your next mission? The people of Zandalar are diverse and capable. If we can bring them all together under the banner of the Horde, the Alliance has no chance of stopping us. For the Dark Lady. Uh, this is to unlock world quests. Good. The people of Zandalar stand with us. Thanks to you, Orinato. Now the real work begins. And here we are with the actual quest to send us back to Kul Taras. Because... Screw world quests! Our partnership with the Zandalari will soon be secured. Took a little longer than I expected. But such is the way of things. Unfortunately, the Alliance seems intent on securing a naval force of their own. That can't be allowed to happen. We set sail for Tyragard Sound when you're ready. Hmm. Okay, Make let's quick. How do we get over there? Oh, right. Get moving. Generic Dread what Admiral Tattersail. Let's go to Tyragard. Get moving. I really hope that they have plans on changing this from just a generic load screen and or portals to actual ships or something because holy crap that just feels lazy ah well here we are back in Tiragard Sound this is what Plunder Harbor looks like with the uh, the piratey goodness taken care of much the same as before but now the pirates that are scattered around are considered friendly with the Forsaken NPCs and Horde NPCs scattered about. So let's talk to Nathanos Angry Pants. Oh, hi, Lillian. What is Lillian Voss My doing here? Stay sharp. She says, We need to show the Kul Tarans what it means to make an enemy of the Horde. You seem to embrace the Horde, which is... What the hell? It seems my skills drew the attention of the powers that be. My services were... requested. Did you catch the hidden meaning there? Sorry, despite my profession, I'm not the best at subtlety. Regardless, I know how to recognize an opportunity when I see one. Sort of opportunity. It doesn't take a profit to see that Sylvanus will use this war as a means of bringing more Forsaken into the world. My own conversion was... difficult. I had a lot to work through, many scores to settle. I haven't let go of all that, but I also feel an obligation to help the newly risen adapt to their situation. Perhaps I can spare them the sort of pain I endured. And what of the Alliance? In life, I was raised to hate the undead, trained to destroy them. When I became forsaken, I hated myself most of all. But now I see it is the Alliance that fosters this malice. The human kingdom shun their former brothers and sisters because we remind them what's lurking beneath the facade of flesh. It's time to end their cycle of hatred. The Alliance deserves to fall. Keep your guard up. Out with it. We're here. Now to cause a bit of trouble for the locals. Nathanos looks at you, then at the rest of the group. We don't look too conspicuous, do we? Step one is to establish a more suitable base of operations. A pirate's den will do in a pinch, but I believe the war chief expects better of us. Let's split up and push farther inland to the west. Be on the lookout for something defensible and inconspicuous. Make yourself useful. Let's make the Kul Tarans think twice before betting against the Horde. Okay, we found Nathanos Angry Pants. 
There's a big old alliance encampment right there blocking both the bridges over here. And more to the south over there as well. So getting over here was kind of a pain. Anywho. Nathanos peers around the corner at the Cool Tehran Roughneck Camp. This will do. Not only is it well hidden in the forest, but the locals seem to be rather dull and easily outwitted. Orinato, go take care of those roughnecks. They might fashion themselves as tough, but a bit of your unique brand of horde savagery should have them running in no time. Lillian, scout the area. We need to know about any nearby threats. Rangers, secure the perimeter. We'll reconvene in the rough deck camp once Orinato's work is done. Try not to get yourself killed. Let's go. Just gonna Come kill some fat boys. He says, Come at me, bro. Fathom oh, five. I'll lie. The phase changes over immediately upon killing the tenth, I see. So we'll just quickly pick up our flight path and go talk to Nathanos Angry Pants. What is it? Nathanos looks around the camp and nods to himself. This will do. <laughs> this guy's warlock pet still in combat with something out of phase. Looks kind of silly. Anyway, Lillian says, The town we passed by, Bridgeport, seems to be the largest threat in the area. Good. They'll be our target, then. What is it, you ask? While you're in Bridgeport, you might keep an ear out for any information that will be of aid to us. You'd be surprised what you can learn by staying quiet and listening to people who think they're alone. Do not linger. Oh, that's creepy. Out with it. Log cabins will do in a pinch, but... If we're going to be spending any time here, we might as well make ourselves comfortable. The Roughnecks left us no shortage of lumber and food supplies, but we'll need canvas and chains to set up some proper forsaken tents and banners. Bridgeport sounds rather lootable, doesn't it? Get moving. Remember, Bridgeport is a large settlement and well guarded. Try and stay on the edges of town for now. Seems we're going to go looting and plundering that uh, alliance encampment I mentioned earlier that was blocking our way over here. Let's investigate Bridgeport. Sure am glad we got assigned out here today. Captain Stone's really worked up about something. I heard it has something to do with all those crates we've been getting from the ash vein. Are those gunpowder shipments in from the ash vein foundry? Y yes Captain Stone. Well, load them onto the ship. Those explosives are a safety hazard. Uh, uh, of course, Captain. Oh, that was a woman. Oh well. <laughs> Careful there, John. That gunpowder will blow your hand clean off. What? This is a bomb? I thought it was an avocado. Explosives in the Ashfeen Foundry? Clearly we can put that information to use. Well done. It sounds like that Captain Stone is somewhat of a big shot as well. It would be a shame if something were to happen to her. There is much to be done. Make it quick. With a name like Bridgeport, I have to assume that the town has plenty of supplies in transit. Ready for looting. I'll have the Ranger start working with these right away. Hmm. My blade stays sharp. I'm most interested in those explosives, though. Meet me in the foundry east of here. You probably passed through it on your way from Plunder Harbor. Do not linger. Off she goes. Let's go meet her. Lillian gestures toward a pile of crates nearby. Think those are filled with the explosives? I don't want to waste your time. Let's make absolutely sure that these are what we are looking for. Here, take this torch and toss it over onto those crates. 
If they explode, then we'll know what to do next. There is much to be done. Um, I don't seem to have a torch. I live my life in the shadows. Okay. <laughs> that was a little odd. Invaders in the foundry, I repeat, invade. Splat. My blade stays sharp. I, uh, I guess we found our gunpowder then. Ammunition acquisition. First, we get as much of that gunpowder as we possibly can. Imagine the terror in the cool Taran's eyes when they realize the Horde has turned their own weapons against them. Imagine it, Orinato. Lillian's eyes briefly glaze over and the corner of her lips turn upward in a half smile. She's a little bit crazy. Gunpowder research. I suppose that before we steal all the Kulturans' violently explosive gunpowder and use it against them, we should learn how they make the stuff. And a bit of chaos. This place seems fairly well defended for a manufacturing facility, doesn't it? Lillian shrugs. I suppose we'll have to kill them then. Keep your guard up. First. Here is Taskmaster Williams, who has the gunpowder manufacturing guide. Snooping around ain't good for your health. Yeah, well, fighting Orinato isn't good for yours either. Not letting you cast Warcry. I don't know what it does, but you're not going to be cast. Or Blade Storm. I don't know how you're going to cast Blade Storm with a giant hammer, but physics. And Priscilla, we'll have your head for this. Huh? They got little kids doing work here. Forge Master Farthing, the real skinny one. And he says, I'll pound you flat. But I don't think that's what's going to happen here. I think the Forge Master is going to go flat. I'm clocking out one last time. We're back at Lillian to turn these in. I live my life in the shadows. I've managed to round up a few crates myself. How did you do? Excellent. Let's see the paperwork. Lillian quickly looks over the documents and nods. I suppose that someone in the Horde will find this information useful. Probably goblins. Lillian bounces her blade in her hands, looks up, and nods approvingly at you. We started this mission with a goal, but not much of a plan. I think I can see the pieces coming together, though. Lillian surveys the horizon, thinking. Place these explosives over on the southwest edge of town. Somewhere inconspicuous. We'll meet again over there. In the meantime... I need to find a horse. There is much to be done. Off she goes again. Seems we have no choice on where these go. We're just going to plop them all down here, one by one by one. And we'll go rendezvous with Lillian. She seems to have found herself a horse. What is a horse, a horse. Ask? Of course, of course. Lucky for us, horses are in no short supply around here. You place the gunpowder? Pay attention, Orinato, because this isn't going to be our standard assassination mission. You and I are going to take this horse through Bridgeport and... cause a scene. I want every single guard on our tail, along with that Captain Stone character. Once we've rounded them up, it's over to those explosives and... Lillian's eyes grow wide with delight. Boom. Do not linger. 
Okay, little phase switch there. Let's hop on the horsey. She's gonna get on with me. Let's round up some guards. Come on, guards. Come on, guards, let's go. Let's go. All right, we got lots of guards now. Come and get us, cowards. Poor horse is getting smacked around a bunch. Now if we go to the inconspicuous location. For the horde. Back to turn this in. Do not test me. I heard the blast from up here. I think I may have even gotten a piece of guard on my cloak. Try not to get yourself killed. Good work, Oronado. Now where is Lillian? Right here, Blightcaller. I have retrieved the body. Mostly intact. Intact enough. Loaded into the wagon, then. You are proving more useful than I had anticipated, Miss Voss. Hello, Captain Stone. I so look forward to meeting you. Yeah, corpse is in there. Corpsey. That's that part of the campaign taken care of. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we will work towards even more of the war campaign. But until then, I thank you for watching the Super Casuals. My name is Oronado. Remember, keep it casual. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more.